Pastor Robinson is not new to service. For 27 years, she has worked as a nurse at the Veterans Health Administration, and she has long advocated for health equity through the Black Nurses Coalition, which she leads. She has served as president of her neighborhood association, as a trustee for the Albany Public Libraries, and as the chairperson for the city's Commission on Human Rights. But during the pandemic, she gave even more. She helped distribute tens of thousands of PPE to residents in our most vulnerable neighborhoods. She participated in multitude of online forums to educate the community on how to stay safe and prevent the spread of COVID. She advocated for a strong health response to address the disparities that we saw in our black and brown communities. And she has been prominently featured in Albany Medical Center's Don't Hesitate, Vaccinate public health campaign. She has been working on vaccine equity since the first days vaccines became available. And at the height of the pandemic, she risked her own health when she went door to door to sign up vulnerable residents for vaccines. She uses every platform she has to encourage people to get vaccinated. Dr. Robinson, I stand here with elected officials from our common council, council members, Jenny Farrell, Alfredo Ballerin, uh, Jamal, Jamal Robinson, uh, as well as uh, Darius Shonfar, who is our city treasurer, representatives from the county legislature, uh, Wanda Willingham, Sam Fine, and Aurora Bocoro, as well as our assembly member, John McDonald. We are here to, to lend our support and our gratitude for your service. And now I'd like to ask Ronald Wilson, I'm sorry, now I'd like to ask Brenda's daughter, Jere, to say a few words about her mother. Our mother, the Honorable Dr. Brenda Joyce Robinson, a truly remarkable woman and undoubtedly needed contributor to this world. We can say so many things about her a list of accolades and accomplishments that would be far too long for me to list right now. But we can tell you that our life with her is beyond compare and summed up as the wonderful adventures of Dr. Roberts. One minute our mother is giving you real talk in everyday circumstances and the next providing certified CPR training, hosting a community pop-up where she's doing the COVID-19 vaccine and the next day throwing the baby shower for our newest addition. In Atlanta, Georgia, doing hand hygiene in the public schools or down at Common Council Advocating. Up night after night doing research for the people and still up at 6 a.m. dedicated to her career. A fifth ward Democratic Committee member walking the great streets of Arbor Hill, registering voters, and then out to the restaurant. Nobly honoring others that have served the community at Black Nurses Coalition's annual health care gala than doing a cupid shuffle on the dance floor, blood pressure screenings at a church, or driving a 26-foot new wall around the world and giving away free supplies and furniture. Life with our mother is love, laughter, stress, excitement, <laughs> hard work, dedication, honesty, just exemplary. She is a wealth of knowledge and sound judgment that many people of and for the community confide in independently. But living a life of selflessness has another side many people don't see. The struggle, the breaking down of barriers set to destroy her, the naysayers, the negatives meant to discourage her. Like Sergeant Henry Johnson, it takes bravery to fight against all odds. It is dangerous work, but she has the valor to stand alone and say publicly what no one wants to say. For us, it is not just about the pandemic. She has spent her life aiding others, fighting against all injustices, disparities, and social determinants that helped before it was popular. However, with all the hardships that come with true advocacy, we know she would not trade it for the war. Who is she? What does she stand for? What does it mean to be her? Righteousness. We are extremely proud. We love you. We salute you. Our mother, most certainly deserving, the truly honorable Dr. Brenda Joyce Robinson. Of having to follow that. 
but I am sure that he is up to the job. Good afternoon, everyone. I guarantee you I will not be a part of that young lady is right there. Um, the Sun Henry Johnson Award was established to honor those who go above and beyond to fight for justice and equality. Those who take great pride in ensuring that no one is left behind. Dr. Brendan Robinson is a perfect example of what this award represents. Her commitment and dedication to her work is an absolute inspiration to us all.
This man was amazing. Sergeant Johnson was very creative to get the job done with just a knife. I had to get creative myself. As we watched COVID-19 disproportionately impact the black and brown community, I had to create my own bowl knife. I created a platform to reach the minority and poor community, educate and vaccinate on a level that folks that look like me can receive and understand. We'll talk. If Sergeant Johnson can slaughter all those German enemies to the point where they call him Black Death, imagine what we all can do with our resources together to eliminate healthcare disparities. Henry Johnson was not about talking, he was about doing. I will continue my work of doing and getting the job done just like he did. People always ask me, well, how do you do all those things? How do you get it done? To that I say, I'm doing what I was born to do. Doing what God wants me to do. Doing what I love to do. And doing the right thing. And when you're doing the right thing, you will make it happen each and every day. Whether you're getting up early or going to bed late, you will continue to make it happen. Now, I may show up with just one year and on like I did yesterday at the Black Lives Matter ribbon cutting. And the mayor said, uh, no, you miss the hearing? I said, well, mayor. <laughs> Councilor Robinson just looked and overlooked and yeah, that's my cousin. <laughs> So last, but certainly not least, I would like to thank a few people for nominating me. I would like to thank my beautiful daughters, Assemblyman John McDonald, my friend Brian Shedd, Honorable Carolyn McLaughlin, Ms. Maddie Seal, and several others. I truly thank you all for recognizing my hard work and for this esteemed award. And if you haven't been vaccinated, get it done. See you. All right now. Thank you.